Today's boilers, as they have been since their origin, involve the complex production and manipulation of steam. The force draft fan blows air into the system. A portion is routed to the pulverizers, which crush coal into a fine dust, before pushing the mixture up through feeder tubes. The other portion passes through an air preheater, which transfers heat from the exhaust gases to the incoming air, raising the air temperature, reducing moisture, and producing a cleaner burn. The hot forced air and coal dust converge in the wind box, where the mixture is blown out through burners and ignited inside the firebox, transferring gradient heat to the water-filled tubes. The hot gases flow upward, heating the rest of the system through convection, before passing through the air preheater and ultimately flow into the scrubber where pollutants are removed. Liquid water is pumped into the system at the economizer. Gradually, it's heated to base temperature before gathering at the steam drum, the system's main distribution hub for circulating water and steam through the boiler. Liquid water flows through large vent cameras and into the base of the firebox. A network of two-inch tubes line the firebox walls and burners force feed a continuous supply of combustible fuel into the ultra-hot firebox. Eventually, the insides of the firebox burn so hot that its surrounding steel walls would melt if not for the tube-lined walls of liquid water. At the point in the cycle when the liquid water turns to steam, the steam separates and collects at the top of the steam drum. Because this saturated steam still contains small amounts of liquid water that would cause corrosive damage to the turbine, the saturated steam is routed back into the firebox and through superheats to burn off all but the smallest traces of liquid water. This dry, superheated steam then exits the boiler, passing through a steam locker and ultimately providing power to the spinning turbine, which generates electricity. Finally, exhaust steam, now at a lower temperature and pressure, is sent back to the boiler through a dedicated reheat stage. This reusable steam is brought back up to operating temperature before returning to the turbine, providing additional power through a secondary stage. <laughs>